This rocket was an amateur rocket. It broke a speed record. It broke height record for amateur rocket. Uh, and um, it was in Nevada, Black Rock Desert, Nevada, July 14th, 2014. Launch time, very important, 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, I want to show you something here that, I mean, some folks brought out because you do see the moon in this thing, but I want to explain to you some things about this and something I noticed that I didn't notice before. All right. Of course, here's the, the breakdown. They did it in 2004 and made it 72 miles high. They did it again in 2014 and got to 73.1 miles, th about 386,000 feet approximately. All right. Before they r ran into the ether level that they call space all right let's listen to what the guy says this is the director of the go fast team listen what he said so i'm the i'm the team leader of of the group and designer of the rocket and uh, really kind of managed the whole event and then i was also the launch conductor um you know did all the countdown and the gopro cameras actually all three of them did shut down on temperature and uh, the cameras were all mounted to the outer skin of the rocket, which does get really hot from the aerodynamic heating uh, during the, the boost portion of flight. In fact, some of those areas can get upwards of, you know, three or 400 degrees. And the photographs from space are the first that's ever been captured from an amateur rocket that's actually reached space. And on top of that, um, you could actually see the moon in, in those um, off you know, off on the horizon, which makes those photographs even more spectacular. Here's what's interesting. Let's play this. I slowed it down. I want you to see. Is it spinning? Said it reached space. The first photographs from space from an amateur rocket. Interesting, huh? Didn't get too far in space because it's falling back down to the earth just slow, slowly. I slowed this way down. All right, here it comes. All right, here comes the moon. I want you to watch, look at the, at the dimension, look at the size of the moon. Now let me ask you something. When you look up in the night sky and the moon is out, is that what you see? Is it that small? There's a reason. But they clearly saw the moon. Okay. Of course, you see how the horizon gets flat, it gets bulged, it gets concave, but there's the moon. All right. Now, this is July 14th. I went back and did this myself. I checked this myself yesterday i spent hours working on this just checking stuff out double checking all right so i went to uh time and date or whatever it is dot com because it'll give you on this basically flat map it's going to give you the position of the sun and the moon at any time and date you want to put in so i put in monday july 14 2014 9 34 a.m which is 1634 UTC, okay? So the exact time of the launch that the rocket went up to 73 miles, the sun is here over, say, what is that? Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic area, the Bahamas. They launched in Nevada. The moon was directly over Australia. All right, now I want you to notice something. This side here is in the sunlight, and this side is not, and this side is not seeing any sunlight whatsoever. And the sun is said to be 93 million miles away. The moon is 240,000 miles away. So if this side's not seeing the sun, this side's certainly not seeing the moon through the vault. And when you 
look at this. Look at the, the distance from New Mexico to Australia, 8,830 miles. When you do a little, uh, you type it in, even with the height of the rocket, 386,000 feet, a distance of 8,830 miles, you get a ridiculous number here of 26,537,329 feet. You break that down, and basically it's 5,206 miles of bulge, right? So basically what that is, is this. The exact opposite sides in the heliocentric model for the moon to be positioned here over Australia. I did this myself with, with Google Earth. Here's Nevada. You can barely see it over here, the USA. Here's this. This is in darkness. This is in the sun. This side's not seeing any of the sun, yet it's further away, technically, than the moon. So get this. There's no way he went up here 73 miles that he saw the moon through this ball. No way. No possible way. In fact, calculating it, you'd probably have to be over 500 miles plus, maybe even further, high to see that. Let me tell you how it's possible. On a flat plane. All right? Look at this. I want to show you something. This is, this is fascinating, right? So what he's seeing here, when they saw the moon, they got up 73 miles, they got enough to see the moon at a distance. Because remember, what keeps us from seeing things sometimes? Sometimes we have to get up higher to be able to see further, right? So they got up high enough to see far enough to see the moon as this little dot. Across the flat plain, though, they, they could not see it if we live on a ball. Impossible, no how, no way. Now, let me show you this. There's that little dot. It's a little dot. Is this what you see? I'm going to ask you again. When you walk outside and the moon is over North America, over the United States, you walk outside being American, you look out, and this is what you see. No, that's not what the moon looks like. Now, let me ask you something. Wait a minute now. I thought the moon was 240,000 miles away, so how would that amount of distance make that big of a difference? It would have to mean that the moon is much closer and that the distance of 8,000 miles makes a big difference in how the size of it, how it appears. It's basically telling you it's further away but then it moves around from Australia over the United States, and then you walk outside and look at it. Oh, there's the moon. I can see the craters and the colors, and, right? This is what you see when you walk outside. This is what they saw with it being over Australia. Now, wait a minute. I thought on the heliocentric model, it didn't matter where we walked out. On the earth, if we, if we could see the moon, it all looked the same. It looked, like it looked the same size, right? Because it's right. It's supposed to be 240,000 miles away. Yet, distance made it. Look how big of a difference that is. Go back to that slide. Look how big of a difference that is. That's what you see with the naked eye. That's what they saw. They weren't zooming in on this with a camera. That's what they saw with just a regular camera, seeing the moon, 8,000 miles away over a flat plain. Are y'all getting this? Is it really sinking in? There's two witnesses here. The fact of where they were, they couldn't see. No one in the United States could see the moon through the ball. And the size difference tells us it's much closer, much smaller, and it matters where it is as to what we see. Oh, there's so much.